All right, Graveyard Talkers, welcome to another episode of Graveyard Talking. This time, we're going to do another two episodes here. We're going to do one over here at the entrance, and behind me you'll see a um, grave of uh, Darren Young. We'll talk about her in just a minute. We're in Ida, Michigan, and this is Lulu Cemetery, L-U-L-U, the first... Uh, grave that was buried here the first person first soul that was buried here was i believe it was 1855 and of course it's an active cemetery and darren was a <clears throat> um animal control officer for monroe county i did have one uh interaction with her uh about six months or so before she died it's a very nice uh, officer um, she grew up on a, a little farm, had horses, as you can see by her, uh, headstone, very elaborate with the saddle on it. She's on her way to work, uh, was in her service vehicle and, uh, crossed an intersection. And it's, uh, uh, divided highway. And I apologize for the shooting going on. But anyways, with the divided highway, um, she went through a green light. And uh, a woman was coming the, uh, coming from uh, east to west. Darren was traveling south. And at a high rate of speed, the woman ran the uh, red light and ended up crashing into Darren and his vehicle. Um, which was really a blow uh, to the uh, animal control shelter and to those who knew her and she is still remembered and talked about. So anyways, we're here at Lulu Cemetery today to see if Darren would like to talk to us and say anything to us. Darren, my name is Randy. I don't know if you remember me and the wife coming in to look at the brown and white uh, female pit. American Staffordshire that you turned us down on, but that's okay. We're, we're, that's okay. Um, I know you were doing what you thought was best, although I disagree with it. And uh, we're here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're here to talk to you and to see if you have anything you'd like to say to me or anything to say. I know that you know about YouTube and you know about electronic devices. And if you haven't done it before, I have a program on my phone. My phone allows you to talk to me through my phone in which I will hear you, hear you through my little speaker here. So uh, this is a no judgment zone. We. Uh, we're not going to judge you for anything you have to say or anything you don't say. And for anyone else who, who is here who would like to talk, feel free to talk. Just because I don't answer you don't mean I haven't heard you or that I won't hear you when I listen to the uh, recording. So let's go. It's a little long here. Let's go. Darren, my name's Randy. Are you with us today? All right, Darren, um, you used to work for the Monroe County Animal Control Division? Yeah. yeah. What was your uh, position? What was your position at? What was your position with the animal control down? Said, oh, oh. 
about so Darren um, unfortunately I'm sure you're aware that you were killed instantly in the accident do you recall the accident at all please Okay, you were traveling on Raisinville Road, um, heading across the M50. What can you tell us about what you remember about the accident? And did you follow the trial at all that pursued on the person who hit you? I thought I heard a waste. I also thought I heard did not. Uh, I don't know if she meant it was a waste to follow with or if it was a waste that uh, what happened to herself. Um, do you, are you able to go to the Humane Society and, and visit them? Okay, and what about your horses? Are you able to visit your horses? I believe you had two, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Is there anything that you would like to say uh, to people out there, maybe about people who are drunk driving, uh, driving drunk? Um, and what it's what it's cost you. So, All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to, I just seen something move at the edge of the cemetery. I uh, don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'll turn it back over in that direction, over that way. I've seen something move at the edge of the fence line just as I got up out of the corner of my eye. So, Darren, was that you at the edge of the fence line? Oh, nope, I see it. Okay. Okay. Let me put you over. It's about uh, four or five deer. And I'm going to cut this short because... Where they're, where they're shooting, where he's shooting, those deer are right there, right in my back. And that means that you're shooting at me. <laughs> I think he's shooting at me.
So with that being said, I'm going to cut this short. Darren, one last, one last uh, opportunity to say something. Leave. 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 I don't think it's safe to be sitting here, Darren. What do you think? All right. And with, and, with, and with that, I want to thank all the spirits here in this part of the cemetery. I'm going to go to another part where I'm protected by a building. And I want to thank all the spirits in this part. Darren, I want to thank you for coming out and talking to us. All right, Darren, thank you very much. Rest in peace. And we will talk to you on the next time that we are here. And with that, guys, I'm going to end this one. Don't forget, if you like what I'm doing out here, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I can't make this channel any better unless you help me. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.